Okay, let's make this quick. Assassin's Creed Unity is a good game, but unfortunately there are too many problems with the overall experience to give it a full recommendation. During the French Revolution, you play as Arnaud Dorian, a man who's wrongfully accused of murdering his adopted father, and upon escaping prison, vows revenge and joins the Assassin's Brotherhood. But as most of you know, the series doesn't actually take place in the past, as you're playing through memories of these characters through a machine called the Animus. However, the game seems to be desperately trying to forget about this portion of the series, as there are few times when this actually gets brought up. Seeing as how I've never played a game in the series since 2, I had no idea what was going on, and the game doesn't really try to make an effort to tell me. It essentially boils down to Assassin's good, Templar's bad. Here's some people to kill, go. If you ignore the future aspect of the game and focus strictly on Arno's story, it isn't too bad and actually provides some cool storytelling moments and a good romantic interest. If you've played an Assassin's Creed game before, then you pretty much know what you're getting into. Receive a target, plan a course of attack, and kill him. Nothing feels more satisfying than sticking to the shadows and planning a course of action in order to feel that sweet reward of nailing your target. However, this is a trick the game relies on way too much as there isn't a lot of variety in the missions and that includes the side quests. If you've had a problem with the game's controls before, like I have, unfortunately they are still there. Every once in a while, your character will get stuck on a wall or refuse to jump off a ledge, which would lead to an untimely game over. While it doesn't happen too much, it occurs often enough to where it can feel unfair. This is not a just world, this is France. I'm sure you've all noticed that the game looks really good, but I don't know why this needed to be a next-gen exclusive. The only next-gen thing they seem to get across is, hey, check out how many people we can shove onto the screen at once. While the sheer number of bodies they throw in front of you is impressive, it doesn't really add anything to the gameplay. I've even had a couple of times where the game slowed down because there were too many things on the screen. I'm not sure if this is a case where they were being too ambitious or whether the developers were being rushed to meet a deadline. I'm inclined to think the latter because the game has a lot of glitches. I'm sure you've seen many of them floating around the internet, but while they're not game-breaking, they happen a lot and it consistently takes you out of the experience. It feels as though the game was rushed out the door even though it wasn't ready to ship. Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! The two newest features to the series are the ability to customize your character and co-op. Customizing your character is pretty fun as they give you a pretty good selection of clothing, colors, and styles to choose from. The co-op is also fun because teaming up with your buddies, mapping out a plan of action, and completing an assassination mission together is awesome. Don't get your hopes up just yet. While I haven't completed all the co-op missions yet because unfortunately some of my friends didn't buy the game even though they said they would, Mike! The missions I played had the same problem with the single player and that there wasn't much variety, so by the end it comes across as a gimmick, but at least it's a cool gimmick. I hope they continue this idea and expand on it in later games. Overall, Assassin's Creed Unity is solid, but it has way too many drawbacks. If you're a fan of the series, you're gonna love it, but if you've grown tired of the formula, then this probably won't change your mind. On the bonus scale, I give Assassin's Creed Unity 71 tea leaves out of 103 hockey pucks. Bully for you. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this in the future. Later.